Hello everyone, thanks for watching my videos and again uh, this the purpose of this video because my English speaking skills so um, I decide to make the video and upload in the YouTube and uh, but if you guys um, want to improve your listening skill or want to check out more uh, English or uh, idioms you also can listen to my video and if you guys uh, found my mistake or my speaking sentence that um, you think um, it uh, has problem with grammars or pronunciation you guys can um, share in the comment below and I'm going to improve and also correct my mistake and thank you again and today I would like to talk about five English idioms and um, for me I think that learning English idiom is quite important because I can find new words and also I feel proud of myself that I can um, use idiom in the sentence that I speak or especially um, when I talk to the native speaker I feel that I also uh, go at speaking English also like this even I'm not a native English speaker and also English is not my mother language okay let's start okay now um, the first English idiom or phrase is once in the blue moon. The meaning of once in the blue moon is means very rare. Yes, but instead of saying the word very rare, you can use one in the blue moon. I also made example. First example is Dara doesn't like chocolate. He eats one in the blue moon. So um Dara, he um, because chocolate is not his favorite, so he really eat chocolate. You can say he eats one in the blue moon. Is mean maybe he eats chocolate one time per one year like this, or um two time per one year like this, or sometimes only one time per two year like this. Okay. Okay, for the second example is David meets his girlfriend. They only get to see each other once in a blue moon. It means David and his girlfriend really meet up each other. So maybe he uh, can meet his girlfriend only one time per one year or two times per one year like this. So he feel miss his girlfriends okay and uh, move to the um, idiom number two is go the extra mile go the extra mile means you put more effort of doing something even it's not the requirement like this mm, for example you can stop by this limit but you decide to go extra mile so i also made example first one is nora went the extra mile and got his business upgraded even though he didn't have to this sentence maybe nora he was born in the rich family already he have a lot of money so he doesn't need to uh, earn more money but actually he is improve or upgrade his business very fast more than expected or even this not requirement but he work extra mile like this okay so he went the extra mile and got his business upgrades even though he didn't have to okay and the second example, Vire is a nice guy. He is always ready to go the extra mile for his friend. So it's mean Vire, he is helpful like this. Um, I mean, example, maybe Vire is a outstanding student and then 
His friend requested him to teach a um, overtime teach them like one hours per day. But be that he went extra much. He teach his friends one and a half hours per day like this. So he is helpful. He is always ready to go the extra mile for helping his friends or for his friends. Okay. For the other third idioms is hang in there. Please hang in there. Hang in there. It means you keep on doing something. You don't give up like this. I also made example for you. We know that studying a new language is hard, but hang in there. For example, like me, I think that speaking English is quite challenging and also hard for me. But because I don't want to give up, so I keep hang in there. I keep on improving my speaking skill by daily speak English, by working with foreigners, and also by uh, reading English book every day like this. Okay. So I hope um, when you guys have goal and also you know that um, that dream is really what you want, you crazy about that thing, I hope you will hang in there, you won't give up like this, okay? And one more example, hang in there, everything will be fine. Um, maybe um, when you start um, doing something that challenge for you, you feel like oh you face a lot problem. So I can say to you that please hang in there, everything will be fine. Keep going, okay? And so please try, please don't be give up, okay? Please don't give up. Okay, for the um idiom number four, call it a day. Call it a day, it means you stop working, okay? You stop working. I also make example, let's go home. It's time to call it a day. It means, oh, now it's, uh, you work uh, 12 hours or 10 hours a day. It's time to go home. So let's go home. Let's uh, call it a day. It's time to call it a day like this, okay? It means, oh, let's uh, stop working like this. Let's stop working. Let's stop working. But instead of saying stop working, you can say, let's call it a day. Okay? It's more like good, right? Okay? You can just, uh, this idiom, instead of using the word stop working, oh, call it a day. Let's call it a day. Okay? Number two, I'm getting a bit tired now. Oh, I am exhausted now. So let's call it a day. Let's stop working. I want to go home. I want to um, go to eat something. I want to relax like this. So I'm getting a bit tired now. Let's call it a day. Let's stop working. Okay. For the last idiom is Break the bank. Oh, this one is famous. I like to use this too, okay? Break the bank. To be very expensive, it means you buy something that very expensive and then you break the bank, okay? Um, I mean, example, I got the car that I wanted. Oh, maybe Rolls Royce or Lambo. Mm, like this, so um, quite expensive, but it really broke the bank. Or, but it really broke my bank. It's me now poor after bought the new car, after bought my favorite car, and poor because I'm broke. Like because now it's uh, because now I broke the bank. Like this, so it's me now I am bro like this don't have more money like this okay and for the uh, one more example nowadays you can easily buy a smartphone without breaking the bank so it's mean smartphone now is um, quite cheap than or um, more cheaper than before so if you want to buy a smartphone you don't need to have a lot of money this means you want break 
the bank because the smartphone now is not really expensive. I hope you guys enjoy with this fine English idiom and I hope you will write them down and I hope you can use it for your um, daily speaking. Thanks again. Have a good, have a good day.